Good day guys, welcome back to another video. My name's Adam Gibley and today we're going to be going over the 85mm one point lens for the Sony. Let's jump into it. So the other day I picked up the uh, 85mm 1.8. Um, it priced around $700. Um, you can get it second hand, but it's actually quite hard to get second hand. So if you do find one, they go pretty fast. And I have a lens hood, but I don't have anything else. Oh yeah, you were looking for this. Uh, sorry bro, I was, uh, thought we were going to take some photos, but I ended up uh, taking some photos of the missus. No going to make so a video. My bad man, I could have just asked. At least I knew where it would be. So anyway, talking about the 85mm 1.8, I'll get this out of the way, it comes with the hood, looks pretty schnazzy, but, um, so first of, all, first of all, how small it is, almost fits around my whole hand, it's uh, awesome, you can put it in your pocket, you can walk away. Very first style lens, I mean, if you have it in your pocket and someone goes, is that a Mars bar? It's just a lens, sorry. <laughs> but it's a 67 mil um, uh, filter thread, so you can chuck some uh, variable NDs filters if you like, or 10 stop filters if you want to do a close up shot of whatever. Just an idea, it does have uh, App, uh, autofocus and manual focus which is really handy so when you like with me what I did I was doing a video the other day and I needed some close-up detail shots because I was moving from one area to the next and keeping it flowing but I wanted to keep the focus on the one subject so I dialed in with the autofocus set my um, set to see what it's focused on switched to manual focus so I didn't lose focus of it uh, that was one way I did it and then it worked out awesome little button here is a custom feature you can custom it to whatever you want so you can focus what I have mine custom to is focusing on the eye um, you can have it custom to anything you like another thing is the price so this being the 1.8 um, you could go one extra stop there is a Sony G Master lens it is $2,400 but you got to question yourself do you really need that one more stop of light where the 1.8 works really well and it's done everything I wanted it to and I paid $700 um, you can pick up some second-hand ones between five and six um, my second-hand one that I was gonna buy fell through and then the other one I just didn't trust so I didn't go with it so I brought up my brand new um, there is some sales on this as well if you have a look on Amazon there's always a sale on these ones but it's a pretty good price lens um, so I'm gonna throw in a couple of photos right now that I've taken over in the last in the last week. I have little Damon, which is the little puppy. We're just taking him out shooting his uh, little Eddie dogs jumpsuit. So when you zoom in, it's all in very much focus. A little bit blurry in the face here, but everything else is really good. We can try this one, it's a little bit better. Where everything is all in focus. Maybe not his nose, but his eyes are perfect. And his hairline, his mane. A little bit of flat, uh, a little bit of the grass there as well. So this was taken at 1.8. I'll put the settings on the screen so you understand what I was doing. Now this is the other night with the Chinook uh, at Vermilion Lakes. This is of Mount Rundle, but the colours came through as well as how sharp and detailed the mountain is, which I was a pretty big fan of. There's another well one of Damon, which is just the foreground all in focus, and he's. Um, blur in the background so again the depth of field is uh, just makes it look good the, 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 the shot is compressed and looks great then we have Pato Lake which just didn't open so the viewpoint is closed still but you can still get there if you know where you're going for some hikes so this was my 85mm and just the close detailed shots like I'm pretty pretty happy with that you can see I'm sure if someone's down the bottom there, you could see them and say hi. But it is 
pretty incredible for a seven, five to seven hundred dollar lens. Happy with that. Another one of a million. So this is the pano. So I just took three photos and I stitched them together. Oops. So they again they just turned out super sharp. The super quality is like if you printed this in, blow it up, look phenomenal. Last one, I know Pete might hate me a little bit, but sorry Pete if you're watching this. Here's one. I don't really take portrait photos, so if I do, <laughs> we'll see how we go with them. But this one here I was pretty impressed with, with him just like checking out the distance, but he's all in focus in the middle here, and then Mount Rundle's nice and blurry in the background. So again, I'll put the settings up the front here, and then see what you think. Uh, the couple of things that I'm not, this is like the cons, um, that I'm not the, impressed about, um, this is probably just me though, is I'm shooting with the 16 and 35 at the moment and when you're focusing on it, the, how fast the focus is, it's like, it's, it's, it's super quick. Where this one here I find it goes in and out and in and out and then it'll finally focus and sometimes it doesn't even find focus, it'll, it'll focus on the closest thing to me, which is sometimes I find frustrating. Um, so I just find it, it the, the autofocus can be a little bit slow, um, maybe it, I just need a little bit more time to adjust to it, but that's what I have found, it's not as fast. And then last of all is, <clears throat> this one again was probably just going to be me, it's just, the other day I had a product, I was taking a photo and say I was standing here and I was taking a photo, but I just, even with manual focus I was trying to get a firm focus and it wouldn't focus, so I had to do a distance, go back a little bit further before that would actually come into focus. So, Again, it's probably just me being new to an 85mm. Um, I mean, I've had used a 16 to 35 for the last year and a half of owning the Sony camera, and I thought I'm going to invest in myself and actually buy a new lens. So, but otherwise, all in all, I'm pretty happy with this lens. Uh, would I recommend it? 100% I would recommend it. It's a nice, cheap, the quality is good, the build quality is good. Um, I would put that in your kit. That's for me. I, 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 for me, I'd rather just have everything light so I can go hiking up mountains and stuff like that. But I don't want too much heavy gear. So I, that's why I've just had this one lens because it can do all. So I can go 16 to 35, but sometimes you just want that extra little close-up zoom when you're on top of a mountain or when you go hiking or just, just whenever you just want it. Plus, it gives a different perspective than most other people. Most other people shoot far away get their foreground and sometimes you just want to take an extra little couple minutes think about your shot be like you know it'd be cool something different have a close-up shot of this have it from the trees coming to the top or whatever just it gives you a different different perspective and different playground with but anyway that's it for me guys i hope you liked it let me know what you think in the comments of the lens if you've tried it out and you liked it if you have any feedback if I'm messing something up, let me know. <laughs> Otherwise, hit that like, guys. Hit that subscribe. Hit that little bell, apparently, you have down here or here or one of the ways. Hit that little bell, apparently, we have that you can get notified whenever I bring out videos. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.